This is the Straits of Malacca and Singapore. Every year, a third of the world's trade passes through here. Across the globe, there is a vast network of these maritime trade routes, because shipping is responsible for over 80% of world trade. Without it, cities would literally shut down. Hello, Merchimus. You are now safe to berth at one liner. Over. There are at least 20 million containers moving across the world's ocean at any given time. We are carrying dry cargoes in containers, electronics, machinery, some clothes, fibers, toys. We can transport almost everything, even parts of airplanes. To ensure that these goods reach their destination safely, the International Maritime Organization has standards in place to ensure the efficiency, sustainability and safety of the entire shipping industry. The amount of cargo that is moving today is $4 trillion worth per year. Take a pair of sneakers. One 20-foot container can have about 6,000 sneakers. That means that these big container ships, they can have almost 120 million pairs of sneakers. And that would mean that you could take Spain, Argentina and Australia and you could give everyone a pair of sneakers just carried on one ship. Shipping is the backbone of global trade, yet many are unaware of its impact to our daily lives. This is what industry experts call sea blindness. It is the inability to appreciate the central role that oceans play for economic prosperity. We've invited a group of people and asked them if they knew how much does shipping contribute to world trade. Percentage, maybe like 50%? 40 to 50%, I would say. Maybe 50%? And when we told them that shipping accounts for more than 80% of world trade... Wow, really? <laughs> OK, that's a lot more than I thought. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. To state a case in point, bananas are transported on a just-in-time concept via reefers across vast oceans from one end of the Earth to the other. These bananas go through stages of ripening, which can take up to more than a month. And when they finally arrive at the supermarket, they're just ripe for eating. This concept helps to drive down prices, but even one of the cheapest fruits in the world amounts to $8 billion in trade. And without shipping, prices of such commodities would soar and daily expenses skyrocket. There is a saying that without shipping, of the goods around the world, half the world would freeze and half the world would starve. Some of the countries don't have the energy source and it needs to be imported. So because of that, they will freeze if they live in colder countries and they don't have that natural resource. Shipping remains to be one of the most efficient and effective modes of delivery. In comparison with other modes of transportation, shipping ranks the lowest when it comes to per ton kilometer. And if a train was to replace a container ship, it would be as long as 140 kilometers. That train would stretch all the way from Birmingham to Manchester. Every year, the shipping industry continues to reinvent itself in order to remain relevant and efficient. And future plans are also in place by the International Maritime Organization with a 2050 strategy to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by half within the next three decades. The future of shipping with digitalization and artificial intelligence and data analytics is to be able to make the world trade more efficient. It is not about having more ships in the sea, but having smarter ships to work more efficiently. The industry is in constant evolution. I, I have seen over time really many ideas, which maybe 10 years ago would look extreme, but with the development of, of technology, who knows whether something can be made viable. What would our lives be in a world reimagined with autonomous vessels, artificial intelligence and drones? Stay tuned for our next episode as we attempt to ship into the future.